okay. We start with work example 2.7. The time area method. Now, this is the catchment for the work example. This is the catchment. Uh, we are supposed to to uh, compute the uh, runoff hydrograph for the design of a major stormwater system near the outlet of a catchment with medium density residential development in Ipoh as shown in figure 2.7 the time of concentration is 30 minutes the design ALI for the major system is 100 years so step 1 is to delineate sub-catchment using isochrome First of all, you use a topo map, use a topographic map, and identify the stream. Then, use the rational method, compute what is the time of concentration. In this case, the time of concentration, time of concentration, is about thirty minutes. So, for thirty minutes we adopt 5 minute interval so we end up with only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 6 isochrome it's just nice hmm? there's no need to have 1 minute interval if you use 1 minute interval for 30 minutes you have 30 isochrome it's a bit difficult to manage. You got 30 rows and 30 columns in your time area diagram. And you will not improve the accuracy anyway. So there's no fixed rule as to what is the interval for the isochrome. The important thing is not to have too many. <coughs> what do you mean too many? I think Anything more than ten or anything more than ten is considered too many isochrome. If you have more than ten, is considered a bit too many. Huh? So try to uh, limit yourself to. Uh, you know, if possible, less than ten. Some people even say more than five or six is too many. But I, I think you know, with spreadsheet, uh, we can handle maybe ten, you know, or twelve. Depends. You know, sometimes you have no choice. But maybe twelve also can. But I won't do it if it's more than twenty. Uh, yes. Question. Okay, the answer to that question is that because because we cannot have too many isochromes, it's difficult to manage. So uh, theoretically, there's no limit to the catchment area theoretically but in practical sense uh, uh, it's not recommended if you have a catchment too big not recommended if you have a catchment that is uh, hundreds of kilometers square and uh, very long time of concentration a lot of isochrome then it's going to be very messy if you use time area method. It's going to be messy. This method is suitable for smaller project sites, like what is common for most engineers. You know, small development site, few kilometers square the most. 
Yeah. Time of concentration, maybe few hours. Yeah. Uh, two, two hour, one hour, the most. Yeah. Then you can manage. If you have two you have, if the catchment size is too big, it's difficult to manage. So in that situation, what would you do? In that situation, you will go for other method like the hack HMS method in workshop number two. Huh? Those method have no limit, unlimited, huh? unlimited catchment size, unlimited, and much more powerful. So this method is supposed to be a design method. It's supposed to is for design only. <coughs> Quick estimate for design purpose. Yeah. It is not uh, an analysis method. It's not. Okay. So in this case, if we adopt five minute interval for a thirty minute time of concentration. Uh, we end up with six isochrome. So the sub catchment area we tabulate it in column E, which is column E. Yeah, this column we tabulate it here. This is incremental. Incremental means the difference between two successive isochrome. The difference between two successive isochrome, the area between two successive isochrome, we put the area here. Inside magma is uh, cumulative. If you use cumulative, you will never get the answer. Okay. If you use cumulative, you will never get the answer. So we have somebody from JPS, right? Uh, yeah. Our JPS uh, officer is at the back there. So I better make sure I... Yeah. No? Yeah. With uh, due respect. <laughs> yeah. The, it's not... It's a fact, huh? I'm not saying finding fault. It's a fact that the formula inside Masma is wrong for this one. It's cumulative. Inside Masma actually it's not. It's incremental. Huh? And I get the most uh, comment about this. Uh, a lot of my participants, a lot, they say they have done the computation. Why right? they can ne never get the answer? Uh, that is the reason. Huh? It's cumulative inside the Masma. But it should not be. It's actually incremental. Makes a lot of difference. It makes a lot of difference. If it's cumulative, everything will be very high. You see, the answer will be many times higher. That's why most people they find the answer is so much higher. Why? Because they use cumulative. It should not be. It should be incremental. If you if you go through the after when I explain, that you will become clear. From first principle, it cannot be cumulative because the only take into account the rainfall on that uh, catchment area, the sub-catchment. It cannot be the whole catchment. Or else the time area method no, doesn't make sense. 